When uploading your iBeam, you will need to go to usadialerservices.com. On the blue navigational bar, you will click on the support link. The support link on the right hand side as you scroll down will have your download iBeam for Windows in the blue circle, and right below that, it is iBeam license key code. You'll also notice on the third icon down is iBeam install tutorial. When clicking on the blue link that says iBeam download for Windows, you'll notice that it'll be downloading in your lower left corner of your screen. The next section is you want to click on the iBeam license key while that is downloading. A new password protected screen will come up. Please get this password from your technician that you're working with with USA Dialer. Once you enter your password, click the Submit button, and you'll see the iBeam key code. Left-click, copy that entire key code. Once this is copied, click on the iBeam.exe at the bottom left corner of your screen. A user account control will come up asking if you want this program to work with your computer. Say yes. Once it's completed, It'll start you through the iBeam setup wizard. Click Next, 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 and click the Install, and you'll see the iBeam being installed. Once it's complete, click Finish. Close the USA Dialer website. Now that your iBeam has downloaded, please minimize your screens and click on the icon iBeam on your desktop. After clicking the iBeam icon on your desktop, a new window will appear. Your soft phone and an error box saying that you do not have a license key. Click on the OK button, right click, and paste the key code that you received from USA Dialer Services website. Then press OK. Now that your iBeam is ready to set up, bring back up your dialer login. We're going to click on the Settings tab. Under the Settings tab in the lower left corner is where your SIP settings are set up. Keep in mind that the SIP settings are for a specific user. You cannot use the same SIP settings with the second user at any location at the same time. Now click on your icon, iBeam, from your tray. You're going to need to move it to your right a little bit so you can see your settings from your user account under the Settings tab inside the dialer. You'll see a new dialog box appear that says SIP Accounts. On the right-hand side, click on Add SIP Account. If you look in the lower left corner under your voice connection settings, you'll see a SIP underscore and a three to four digit number. Please put the SIP underscore and the three to four digit number under the display name, the username, and the authorized username. You'll notice that your password is also in that lower left corner under the voice connection setting. Then the last step is to put in your domain. Your domain is also in your voice connection settings information under the settings tab within the dialer. Please keep in mind, do not copy and paste any of this information into the text fields. Manually type it in. Once you've completed Entering in the SIP information, your password, and the domain, lower right corner of the dialog box, press Apply, press OK. Press Close, the word Close, on the lower right corner of your SIP account settings. Click Allow Access. Then click the word Close in your SIP account settings. Then your soft phone will go out and register. On the display screen, it'll say your username is SIP underscore the three to four digit number that was created underneath your user login under the settings tab. Your soft phone is ready for use. Keep in mind that you also need to click on the AA button under the four key for auto answer. You'll notice a red slide bar on the left hand side of your iBeam. This is the volume control for your mic. On the right hand side, you will see a green slide bar. This is the volume control for your headset. When testing your SIP account settings, simply type in 5000 on your iBeam. 
then hit the green phone. An automated system will come up and say your SIP phone has been configured correctly. Please speak into the mic and say something and then press any key to continue. You will hear your mic volume and your hearing volume so you can adjust it before you start the dialer. 